Welcome to Grumblings of a Gaming Grunyard. I'm Tom. You and your party overcame numerous obstacles, twists, and turns. You found the big bad evil guy's lair, and you fought through his minions. You now stand in the final room. The big bad evil guy looks sternly at your characters. His face grim, his hand clutching his weapon, his subalterns beaten and bleeding out on either side of him. In his deep, resonant voice, he dramatically says, You have caused me so much trouble! A player shouts, I cast Misty Step and stab him in the face! Ugh! Every player has likely faced their fair share of villains. With any important enough big bad evil guy, there will eventually be a moment where the characters have tossed his plots and schemes aside. The characters have come face to face with the bad guy and he confidently tells them the tale the characters have earned with blood. The big bad evil guy explains the reasons why he acted as he did. In other words, the big bad evil guy monologues. It's done to extreme in movies and television shows. In almost every crime drama, the antagonist reveals their plot to the protagonist at the end of the show. D&D is no different. Why? Because it works. Sure, it's a time-worn trope. It's trite. It's a cliche. But it's also fun. It ties everything together. If it occurs. However, sometimes, perhaps often with some groups, it doesn't have the opportunity to occur. In a recent online forum, there was a discussion about players interrupting a big bad evil guy's monologue. A lot of the responses in that thread could be summed up as players saying, Yeah, interrupting the big bad evil guy is hilarious. And DMs responding, I hate it when my players do that. There was an even greater number of players explaining all the ways they have gleefully prevented the monologue as well, from sneak attacks to surprise fireballs to casting silence to prevent it entirely. There was also an evident frustration from DMs as a whole concerning this behavior. According to a blogger, in nearly every group there is at least one player who is especially keen on making sure no monologue gets to see the light of day. When the big bad evil guy goes down that quickly, the players may be happy, but the DM is left feeling unsatisfied. As a DM, I admittedly tend to side with the DMs. Why? When a DM creates an adventure, they know most of the content they create is going to be. It is meant to be bested. Aside from a few instances, like a recurring villain escaping or a character dying cinematically, a DM is really not meant to win. The DM preps a ton of material, quest lines, encounters, maps, monsters, NPCs, and more knowing that everything is supposed to be beaten and perhaps forgotten in the running narrative of the game. So when a big bad evil guy monologues, the DM already knows they are likely going to die. The monologue is simply the preamble to his death. With that, months of prepping and planning and improvising all lead to the last stand between you, your party, and the DM's big bad evil guy. But it's not the inevitable fight, nor your eventual win, that many DMs have been waiting so long for. They've been waiting for that moment after you and your party kick open the last door and come face to face with the big bad evil guy. They've been waiting for their monologue, for the big bad evil guy's monologue. The greater likelihood is that they have probably written it out or at least thought about it for months. A DM probably rehearsed the speech out loud or in their head, perhaps in their car. So you have no idea how long a DM has been waiting for this moment. If none of that works for you, perhaps it's helpful 
to think about it another way. The big bad evil guy is the DM's character. And their monologue is the DM saying goodbye to their character. So let your DM have their moment. Let the big bad evil guy tell you and your party how much of a pain in the tuchus you were. Now that you are in his lair, in his final room, let the big bad evil guy tell you what he has done, why he did it, and how he thinks he's going to defeat you. The entire adventure is stripped down to its very essence in his monologue. As I said at the beginning, it's trite, it's a trope, it's a cliche, but nonetheless, most DMs love it. I do too. I love being the evil guy, telling you how futile your feeble attempts are and how little you stand a chance, knowing full well that my character won't make it through this session. With that, at the very bitter end, I'll give your character the last speech when your character spits on my big bad evil guy's corpse and heroically says, who is feeble now? Give me, give your DMs the big bad evil guy's monologue. At the end of the day, we're doing it for you, the players. I will end my monologue. I mean, diatribe there. Please like, subscribe, and roll a seven-sided die.